That's <laughs> that, yeah. That's quite the prediction going on there. Is uh, the graphic I think pop up? <clears throat> the most important individual for TSM on Dust 2 is KGB, uh, hands down. Yeah. He's really his ability to shut down plays to catwalk is so huge. Completely agree. And he played awesome earlier today as well. So definitely going alongside what you're saying there, Carrigan on long just. Spots a player darting across, tries to land the sexy one tap, not able to do so, he's about to get pushed. Surely here there's four players in long doors about to come at him. He has heavily tagged up one, but there is a team kill that comes in from Edward. Executing Flamey in the back of the head. Still now really keep the player advantage as the Vice is trying to hold off this push on long. And the bomb still hasn't fully committed just yet, so the Terrace could definitely shape up towards that B side. We actually see one of their players in the form of Seized going right now. He's been spotted from Dupree. Dupree trying to get the cheeky jump headshot there with the P2000. He's going to be getting wrecked from behind though. Edward comes in with the USP. He can't do anything. Dupree holds down the fort by himself. Two frags. And now it's all on Guardian. And with that bomb, he's moving in. He's been spotted, being tagged up through the smoke right now. Guardian down to one, gets finished off from Cajun B, and TSM start the pistol round and get it under their belt. Yep. Big round for them to win, obviously. We talked about their CT side being so strong, and uh, if they do get this good footing and they can go and build the momentum, get the 3-0 here, it'd be very difficult for Navi to actually get back on the road. We normally see Navi forced by these situations. A lot of teams showing discipline tonight, actually going completely yeah. against what we've seen most of this tournament. So actually going for a full eco here, potentially you may be getting a little, get a little buy next round, a cheeky one. That could, is always an option. You can see very heavy SMG investment from TSM. So maybe that's what they're going for. All five players heading towards B now will be bursting through that smoke, but no utility to approach the situation. Here comes Dupree, two players down. He probably could have had a third there, but the flashbang firing on in from Device and with the MP9, he is putting Na'Vi players to bed. There's a P2000, just brings it out, getting himself with a couple more frags. Guardian is still alive and kicking, trying to do as much economic damage as possible to the CTs with the UMP. Spots a player up on the window, one through the doors as well, but it's Carrigan from behind who finishes his life, and TSM do take up their second round. Interesting, as you guys say, that Na'Vi didn't go for the force bar. Oh, they didn't yet. go for anything. Here we go. They are going to get the rifle, so without getting the bomb down as well, and this is really interesting. And decent job from Guardian as well, getting those two <laughs> kills. It could prove to be big if, if Na'Vi picks it up this round. Seems like TSM are aware of this, though. They actually answer back with three rifles of their own. Guardian getting the scout, so this is definitely the surprise buy. And only Zeus has a smoke of the round. Needs to be pointed out. See, he's taking quite a lot of damage there to open things up. He hasn't got head armor as well, so it's worth noting on him. SMGs will rip him apart. But now, we go. It's not quite a slow start to this. I don't think the terrorists have made it known what guns they've got just yet. They want to keep that a little bit of a secret. Peekaboo. Yeah, this is it. So now, just trying to gain some control here. All five players towards middle. You'd assume getting the cat control first, or maybe just showing some attention there and bailing out back towards mid. Yeah, very smart as well not to give away their weapons because surely then TSM know there's a distinct lack of utility that they can try and exploit. And with that one smoke, you can also see Navi are trying to get a potential pick if the CTs make a mistake here and step out of line. They still have the lurker in B tunnels as well, just in case the CTs try and get antsy and push on through. The smoke comes up with a flashbang that's going to stop the majority of the terrorists from pushing in right now. It's all on Cajun B. There's another smoke. It's going to be a bit too little too late. He comes up, does dink. I think that's Edward who gets finished off from... Zip next, and there we go. Flamey comes in as well. The bomb has been planted from Na'Vi. And a 4-4 four four with the weaponry that Na'Vi have. This should be pretty decent for them. The issue is they do not have any more utility. And there is Seized, however, just shutting down Carrigan, not allowing, allowing him to get onto this site. Zipnix is still in close proximity to the bomb itself. And really, Na'Vi just have to hold positions here. And if they stay in these positions, this round will definitely be theirs. Zipnix has been picked off. And just like that, Na'Vi will pick up their first round. I was expecting that to be a lot harder for Navi as actually we see there we have a seized getting all over device and even picking that kill, making it that much harder for TSM to move along. But Navi making it work with only one smoke and dust to T side. That's impressive. I, I really like that approach actually. That surprise buy, you get no bombs down and then you do a full eco on the second round. It just means when you know a team favors SMGs as well and you go into that third round with Galils and AKs as well, it can be very surprising and very difficult to lock down for TSM. But now they actually answer back themselves, a force buy and they're all being bought for occasion as well. So he's uh, utilizing those UMP kills he's got. He's got boosted up onto short as well, peeking into lower B. I don't think anything's going to come of it just yet, but actually going to be facing towards more towards middle as the, the T try and work out what's being presented to them this time. It looks like Zeus may get taken down here, and uh, 
Uh -oh. And the fact that he misses also gives away. There's a very high chance of two players being on short because of that boost. And Zeus just jumps on top of it. The military leader, as we referred to him as before, leading by example. But he will be up down from the hands of Cajun B. Up on car. No huge surprises there. Who's still in a good position. What a shot from Guardian. That takes him down. And that gives Na'Vi a huge advantage now to push onto this site. Carrigan with one of the five sevens. Can't do anything from here. Dupree sees the gun barrel just sticking out the side. And will put down Seized. But still, this is a huge ask from TSM's perspective to get on this site and defuse. And I think they're going to play smart here and just save their weapons. Two points to be taken from that round definitely is the one where you have Cajun B. They had the sack on short. He missed the shot. They fall back. They still stay, stay on short. They wait for that push. And what Navi did smart there, they actually flashed in short before going in there. That really enabled Zeus to get that pick and that opening. And then that Guardian kill on KGB. That's the one. That was the one that sealed the deal afterwards. So just very nice methodical plays from Navi so far. That's the thing. That's the position we talk about KGB being godlike at. And yep. Guardian somehow finding the balls to face that angle and rips the head off KGB there. So fantastic stuff from him and a great round from Navi as they go into this. Fifth round out, Guardian, of course, will pick up that AWP, but it seems like the CTs aren't quite done here. A couple of guns recovered from that last round. I see Device and Dupree have got rifles out. The rest of the team going to be on Desert Eagle and 5-7, so not going to be heavily stacking anywhere, though, although they have got three players towards long. Navi, though, understandably, taking this round very slowly and seeing what they can do and what information they can gather before they make their move into a bomb site. Very slow, steady approach from uh, Navi right now, but... You it's kind of what you expect, right? This is a team that's kind of known for doing this. And we saw it earlier on overpass as well, often pushing in with 10, 15 seconds left on the timer. And just about scraping by. Flash through onto mid, trying to push away any CT defenders, but no one's actually home from Team Solo mid. They're just backed onto the sites. They're playing the angles with the limited weaponry. And for me, this is a pretty smart play from TSM, right? Like, not, not going up peaking, losing any early frags. Well, they want to make sure they have an opportunity to use these rifles before they actually get taken down. And that's actually a, a pick that should have favoured Guardian there. Edward takes down Carrigan. They open it up now, five and four. As they make their way to the A bomb site. CT's reacting, though. They're getting some presence towards mid, but it's a very difficult angle to face. Yeah, there's this little big tell for Nami as well, what's going on. Player still holding position. There is Device opening things up. Off the site, and a second as well on such low HP, a third frag as well, and single-handedly potentially winning this round for TSM. A round they should never be winning. Cajun B though has been taken down, and Device is just about to get naded. That bomb is potentially going to go down as well. In fact, the grenade's not even required. Guardian's there with the AWP, and the heroics of Device have been neutralized so far from Na'Vi, who push onto the site with eight seconds, but there is Dupree. No and time. seized and meanwhile actually gets the Molotov frank. The bomb's going down from seized. This is going to be so close. Just a millisecond off. And the CTs win. And Device's three frags there was absolutely crucial. And insane and with low HP. And do I need to go on? What a play from Device. Just dismantling that Navi push. And uh, yeah, TSM winning around. Essentially they had nothing going on for them except for this... I'm glad we get to watch this. This looks really <laughs> impressive. What calm play there as well. Nice little taps. All headshots. Huge plays there. Bringing the round back out of nowhere. So, fantastic stuff from him. They pick up the AWP as well. Very back and forth affair so far. Navi are not being broken yet. They have got the AWP still on Guardian. And another slow approach to them. You can see the CTs not really doing anything too unorthodox here. Just holding down, in lo down long one player right up there. You can see now it looks like a mid split coming in from Navi. Yeah, coming up through mid. Some shots coming through. Here's the pop flash from Dupree. Doesn't peek afterwards. Doesn't have anyone else to really get the crossfire down. So instead backing away, playing smart. Guardian, however, will get the opening pick. And then Navi smartly just pull back and keep the CTs guessing here. Looks like they could potentially be going up catwalk. But that's going to be walking into the crosshairs potentially of Cajun B, who's been here, as we said, so many times before. Smoke's landed as well. TSM, they they seem to have read the script here. They know exactly what may be coming up. Yep, this is a Navi is going to be faking here. A bit of an A long push, but the actual push is going to be coming from short, shortly. Yeah, coming up right now. Molotov lands on the site just to draw back the CT defenders. Cajun B has relocated up long. And here we go from Goose. It's going to be Carrigan trying to rip him with the frags. There's Carrigan as well. 
with Cajun B just locking down the site. The bomb has been dropped in a horrible place as well. Carrigan just has to hold on to his position. He's fallen down though, and suddenly TSM are crumbling. It's all on device. The man pulled off a crazy 1v3 with similar HP last time, but those circumstances were a whole lot different to retaking a site, and therefore he will be saving that M4. Yep, good place from Na'Vi, even though TSM was holding on in it, just because Karangan got that first pick and Cajun B got that second pick. That was Na'Vi basically trying to uh, make TSM think they're going to have more long presses, but it was just one guy, a couple of flashes and a spoke, and then three guys pushing from Cat. But Na'Vi finally then just nailing it down, winning this round and bringing the score 3-3. Yep, Guardian as well. Going off in the middle, looked like the guys were going to go for a full mid to B take there. A little bit apprehensive, Guardian refacing, finds the first frag that we talk about, TSM being one of those teams that don't normally allow those picks to happen, but yep. Guardian finds two at the beginning, makes it to 3-3 now, very much a back and forth affair here, and after winning one round and losing the subsequent one, TSM's money definitely has been reset here, $1,400 given to each player. You can see Device did save a rifle there, and the rest of the guys are going to be getting some Deagles, PT-50 and a 5-7, so... Can they find this form again? Device was the hero of the last save. Let's see if he can continue that form. This guy goes to face long, takes down Zipix there. Nice opening frag from him. That grenade wrecked him as well, though. That was almost 80 damage, I think, from one nade. He does get finished off from Carrigan. So a decent enough start from the CTs. And this is what we're after, right, guys? We were hoping for a close game right from the start. No back huge leads. Huh? It really has been back and forth. I think this is going to be the uh, the way this game progresses on as well. C's tapping. He won't get anything though. Device again just steps up to the plate. Unfortunately, from the CT's perspective, though, that bomb, sorry, not the bomb, the gun doesn't drop in a position they can pick up, so they are going to be forced still onto those pistols. Meanwhile, Cajun B does get the shot in the back of Flamey, who does not check that. And they have been there a couple of times. And that puts Narvi now in a three on two. Player in pit is still alive, and Carrigan with the 5-7 gets one in the second frag as well! How does that even happen? <laughs> um, but I've never been a believer of winning your 3 on 5 against the Force by or Slash and Eco, sending one guy one direction, sending two guys the other. I don't think that's really the right game plan. You should always go as a three-man pack in those situations. Well, what do you I, think, Henry? Yeah, I absolutely agree, especially when you've got that information that you've broken the economy. You know they've only got $1,400 available there. You want to be entering key choke points, not committing it's too early on and making sure you actually can get the frag back if you do run into any trouble. Absolutely agree there. But like we said, TSM somehow getting back into that one on a force buy. Really exciting series coming up here, I think. Cajun B opening it up onto Guardian. And, uh, there's another buy coming in here from Navi. Can they bounce back in similar fashion? Make it two for Cajun. And yeah, Navi will be kicking themselves as well. The Zeus is uh, kind of trolling around there, jumping backwards and forwards. They'll be kicking themselves. That's two rounds that really they should have won, you know, on paper. Yep. And right now they're heavily invested on this one when it comes yep. to the economy. If they lose this one, they're going to be they're going to be saving. Absolutely. And losing three casualties so early in the round as well. I mean, this this is just kicking them when they're down. This is not going to feel good for Na'Vi. Edward has managed to get that AWP off the corpse of his fallen teammate. But with 40 seconds, I mean, there's, there's no real hope of Na'Vi clutching this round, right? I mean, surely not. Well, I don't think so. You no. can see their position they've got right now <laughs> and the time available. One CT is going to be Unless showing a little bit too much aggro. Going to be Carrigan. Takes down C's for his troubles, though. Edward does reply. But four on one situation now. Bomb does go to the top of middle, and uh, 20 seconds on the clock. He will be trying to save the AWP save in any way he can, yep. but very difficult prospect considering the situation. Yep, the CT is coming for him. Does he have eyes in the back of his head? Edward misses the orb shot, and that is going to be his lights out. Five to three, and Navi now on a pretty sketchy economy will be ecoing. Yeah, well, TSM's big players have really brought it here. Device obviously with that three man. Here we see Cajun B just causing havoc and destroying Nobby's attempts. There we see Flamey going down as well, as well as Dupree, obviously. Those three have been uh, really big here so far, and their CT does too. Now, crazy reaction speed as well. The full eco here from Nobby. They well and truly have been broken. Full blocks, no utility. Almost four around here. You can see all the players going to lower B. You would assume just running out middle at this stage. And Cajun B once again opening up the bragging. He's got a player there to support him as well. Deja vu from the last round when we saw the mid push come in and TSM dealt with it accordingly. Nice double frag from Guardian, at least making this a little bit economically damaging for TSM. But still, they do pick up their sixth round and will be able to replenish those weapons without any issue at all. 
Guardian getting the, the glass cannon out. No armor. One flashbang for him. And we're going to round number 10 now. TSM finally finding some momentum here. Three rounds in a row for them. No bomb going down. And we see Cajun B keeping the AWP. He's been instrumental the last few rounds. And now they're keeping it dynamic, changing the pace once again. He's going to get boosted up onto short. Last time they just kept their focus towards middle. I'd like him to face towards lower B this time, perhaps. Just try and get that first kill. There it is. He's going to be facing towards there, but it's a nice off angle. Terrorists won't be expecting you coming in the pre five. I mean, you get a nice deep pick on middle as well. I think double smokes for longer is coming in. They're going to isolate Carrigan here. So Carrigan pull it off with a 5 7 before. This time he's got an M4. They check the tight right hand side. He does get traded out though, so a decent trade overall for the terrorists. The issue is they expended a lot of utility to get onto long there, Ooh. so only a smoke and a couple flashes. And what a shot again from Cajun B. This guy, we said, watch out for him. He was fantastic yeah. in the previous game. Picks up the AWP, no problem. Shutting players down left, right, and center. And now the terrorists, suddenly from a position that looked pretty good, they're just stuck in their tracks. Yeah, yeah, Cajun B just get, got that shot through the smoke as well. And that's going to be always so frustrating when you're playing against such a player doing such things. Well, five, oh, sorry, four on three situation. Flamey does have the AWP guardian, of course, going down there. This could be holding this pit area as well. One player in lower B is going to be seized. Just trying to see if he can scatter any sort of fragging here. He's going to set up the mid to B smoke. Potentially try and keep some CTs here and keep the cross modest as Flamey does take down Cajun there. 23 seconds. Another trade comes out. One apiece. Device, the hero for TSM. So far in dust is still alive. Edward's being tagged up heavily. Zipnex is low as well, however, 12 seconds, they have to start crossing, and they do like that utility, they're looking for the frags, it's not going to happen, and I guess there is a case of let's make sure we die before the timer runs out, so we don't get wrecked economy-wise as well. That's the thing, you can see them now, another eco here. This, this looked so good for Navi as well early on, but it really then, did. You know, that, that eco round just destroyed them. Yeah, yeah, definitely, it was 3-3, right? Yeah. You know, yeah. Suddenly 7-3. Cajun B come to life, he's uh, currently top fragging now. And uh, there's going to be the quasi buy for Navi. Obviously, the Lost Bone is working their favor. They can justify this, keep around 2k in their bank. And two players making their way out long as well. Decent flash comes in for Zip next, but it's going to be Edward just running straight through with the Tech 9. Pretty nice headshot, but there we go. Carrigan comes in, ceased and Zeus, though. Not done just yet, and there's Guardian again. Maybe there is still life left in Navi here on the T side. It's all on Dupree. Trying to rotate in from mid. And he's going to have Guardian to contend with, who goes for the, the couple cheeky shots and backs away. The bomb is going to get planted and now setting up for that post-plant situation. No point giving your life away needlessly and taking this into a 1v2. Dupree has a kit. He has an M4, but nothing else really. And there we go. There's not really much you can analyze from that round, really. No. It's just the, te the running tech nines, not to touch them before last game. It's, it's kind of random a little bit. You can find... Slightly blind players, you've run out and tried to choose a random area to go out to. You find that initial Tech 9 kill can be very devastating. There it is, getting through the smoke. Kalgan did pretty well to actually get himself yeah. back into that situation, but then the flurry of frags came in from the T's. Now the double orb set up for TSM. They're changing the pace here, device picking up as well, and he's no stranger to that weapon. So definitely a difficult prospect here, and actually some contention there. Device gets Ooh. tagged by Guardian. Yeah, down to 27, and here comes the push from Edward. Doesn't really connect anything, actually, on that player. I believe that was Device who was still in mid. Yep. So one bullet and he was a dead man. And uh, Device can thank his lucky stars that he's not momentarily silenced here in round number 12. As it stands, though, all 10 players are still alive, albeit too heavily wounded on the TSM side, which is definitely going to give them cause for concern. Tech 9 in the hands of Zeus as well. But we saw the Tech Nine's capable of last rounds. That doesn't really say a great deal. Still two smokes, two mollies. In fact, three smokes and three mollies on the side of Na'Vi. Plenty to work with. Orb still in the hand of Device, though. Another smoke wall coming up to long from Na'Vi. Absolutely. There is use with that Tech Nine making it work. And it wasn't one of those heavily tagged up players either. So still Dupree and Device, the D&D combo, not looking too healthy in this round. But there we go, Cajun B with the AWP. We've already seen what he's capable of doing through long. Zeus, though, his strength in numbers approach does just overrun Cajun B. And round 12 is looking the way of Na'Vi as well. Device tries the shot on the cross but can't quite connect it. He's waiting for maybe the second player to go. 
and instead just backs away to try and save this up. So Na'Vi, we were saying like it was starting to maybe slip away. Credit to them, they're bouncing back. Yeah, um, great example of when you lose long control, you need to have control of short, otherwise you're really screwed when you're playing CT there. KGMB obviously not really having a lot going for him after Kerrigan goes down in long and the zip next to the rotator guy goes down, so Cajun's going to be alone on that site. He's going to get a sandwich from both sides. So I guess the lesson learned here is you either need to have control of long or short, otherwise you're going to want to bail out of that site and just play a retake. Like we said, two in a row now for Navi. Definitely finding some footing here. They've actually broken the economy of TSM as well. So big round for them to win there. And uh, TSM, although not investing too much in this round, one TP, P250 there, going to be showing some aggression towards lower B. One player gets taken down, make it two for Edward there. And you have to favor this round going in their favor this time. Device going to be left alone in the B bomb site. And you can only assume he's going to be dealt with any second now. And there it is. Eco bash as expected from Na'Vi, but not losing any players in the process. So that is a lot of pros in their Look side. Look at TSM's money as well. They're going to be crippled when it comes to equipment. No, yeah. I don't think they will have any kits. They will only have limited amount of nades. So it's going to be a tough one here for TSM. Yeah, you, know, you said no kits being a pretty big factor there. And you can see there's a pretty nice spawn coming in from Na'Vi. A little B rush, it wouldn't be the worst idea in the world considering no incendios. Looks like they will be going for this as well. Zeus could be leading the charge. Oh, but he just holds down the trigger. Dupree gets himself a frank, but does significant damage to Edward and sees as well. Here comes the cavalry charge. In actual fact, no, it isn't. They run into a, a barricade. Look at Kerrigan here. He's sneakily into his spawn already. Uh oh. He is going to be in the money any second right now. There we go. The first frag comes down for him. The bomb is just a few moments away from him as well. And that. Is completely caught the terrorists off guard. They do get the answer frag though. So still a three on three. I thought that could go a whole lot worse for Narvi. Zipnex, however, has shut down Flamey. And in doing so, that makes the three pronged attack that much weaker from Narvi now. Still in spawn. Looking up Zipnex here, hasn't really had the best of halves. Sitting at two, six, and nine right now. Actually, that was his second kill he just got of this whole half. Oh, we can see some positional control from Caesar. Their time is still remaining. They've got actually isolated a player towards the pit there, but Zipex answers back. As you oh. said, got a second, make it a third. There's now Guardian. In a one on three situation. 30 seconds for the open hand. You have to think this one may be a little bit too far gone for him, but he still will go for the opening frag to see if anything he can do with it. Holding the long doors. He knows the CT's going to be hunting him. Gets the AK. It will get taken taken down by device pretty convincingly. We go into the last round now. Not going to affect Navi's economy at all because they had, after winning three in a row, they actually built up a very decent bank there. Actually justify two orbs in the T side, make it three. And I think I saw a fourth there as well. Yeah, Here we go. They're going to go for the uh, Get spam. ready. And then drop to, to take the AKs back again, I guess. The yeah, wall of work. death. Yep. Here we go. Pronax still has nightmares over this. Oh. oh. Not connecting. No one wanted to face. I'm disappointed, son. <laughs> no damage really done whatsoever, but I guess now well, they have got four orbs. They can probably swap one of those out for the AKs. I saw them buy another one there, but there it is. So it's three AWPs now. Round number 15. And actually, fragging opens up from Cajun B as he pushes short and finds that frag onto Guardian. Absolutely does, son. Navi losing a couple of their fangs right now with Guardian out, one of their star players undoubtedly so, still two orps in play, three orps in play actually, Edward has one as well Tech 9 in the hands of Flamey, one minute left on the timer in the last round of this half, we're saying how close this game has been, it certainly lived up to those expectations although for a few moments it looked like Na'Vi may just slip away on their T side but mm. two huge rounds back to back brought them back into this, yeah considering I think the scoreline was 7-3 at worst yeah. for, for Na'Vi so in that context, they've not TSM's pick up one round while Navi is picking up six, and now let's see how this turns out. Stuck again onto Catwalk. Three players up here right now. Flashbang comes in, will stop them for just a few more moments. And this is the issue that Navi sometimes play themselves into that they're so slow that well placed flashes and smokes, and the fact that Carrigan can come up the back, we've already seen it a couple times right now. 20 seconds on the timer. How is the CT's going to hold off on this one? You've got Carrigan now coming. Through short, trying to shut down C, gets the frag as well, that could be absolutely crucial for the CTs. Zeus does miss an AWP shot, it wasn't the easiest though, lands it on the second time of asking and there is Dupree. And TSM will finish the half 9-6 to the good. This is the yep. kind of game we wanted I think, yeah. finally, it feels like teams on an even kill actually challenging each other every single round. 
You're not really sure which way it's going to go. Back and forth affair, definitely. And it finishes up there. 9-6 in favour of the TSM, but Navi definitely bouncing back and uh, getting himself back into the series. Yep, that retake would have locked, looked very different had Kerrigan not been able to take that kill on short. Lucky for TSM, he got it, and TSM picking up that round. 9-6 on CT half. I think the TSM, I think both teams can work with this. Definitely, TSM's going to be okay with it. Navi also thinking, all right, we can we can grab 10 on CT. Yeah, absolutely. Obviously, the pistol going to be pivotal here. And the best of ones, we saw TSM win the pistol in the last half. But what can they do here? 9-6 is your score going into the second half. Let's have a look at the buy for the T's. They've got four sets of armor there. Carrigan going to have the smoke and two flashbangs. Three players heading towards B, two guys still are on that suicide alley. And the th interesting thing is that now they actually have three players stacked towards B on the pistol. This could be pretty huge considering Cajun does get taken down. Great shot by Edward, allows him to fall back now. Yeah, didn't even need the three players. That just does it all by himself. And now relocating towards mid. It's going to give the CTs a real chance at this. That being said, the Vice again once more just steps up tall and proud and says this is my site here comes you throwing guardian the vice with his second frag of the round is hungry for more picks up the third as well this guy is on fire right now and they have to just stop Ooh. for a few more seconds and device gets his head completely caved in dupree lands the final frag though and that gives dsm such a huge advantage now 10-6 up what a weird round yeah to start off with <laughs> That kill on middle doors, by the way, I think none of them actually saw anyone there in the middle where Device got that first kill, and then these two kills here, making it really good for TSA. But Guardian almost grinding it back, but then Dupree landing that last headshot and making it 10-6 for TSM. Well, there we go. Here we, This is the buy we always see from Navi, the double scout, and Guardian does take down Carrigan. Massive scalp to take at the beginning, and you can see him rotating straight towards B as well. Dupree's going to be trying to get in there. This could be dangerous for him. He's isolated by himself, actually manages to make a good job of it. Takes down, sees that as he gains into the B bob site. Yeah, focused quite a few CTs towards playing off against him, and the fact that he's taken that site as well opens it up for the bomb carrier of Zitniks to get in and plant this one. Still though, casualties come across for TSM, and with the CZ and the Scout in play, you never quite know what's possible from Na'Vi's perspective. That being said, Zeus has just got himself fragged from Device, so it's all on Edward with the Scout, there's the first frag. Device is one shot away from death as well, so we could make this a real painful one for the side of TSM, and he is still looking in. He's prowling, he's on the look for a couple kills right now. After he gets tagged down to six, though, he has to think twice, and he will be picked off on the cross. 11-6, good round yep. for TSM in the end. Well, at least Navi can make it costly for TSM. That's the only takeaway Navi can take from that. Yep. Obviously, TSM grinding that round, making it 11-6 at this point. So, to give some context of what happens going forward now, this means a full eco for Navi. They can't really afford to invest too much into this round. I think it also means Guardian's going to struggle. I think, judging by the kills he's got, he may be able to justify a glass cannon orb. But it's, it's going to be very difficult. TSM, perfect call, picking that long and having that spawn. And they're going to realize really soon that no Navi player is actually occupying this site. And you can see five players stacked for TSM. They are, sorry, for Navi. They're going to be going into that B tunnels. No contention whatsoever. And they really have missed the money here because you see this passive hold from TSM. They're aware of what's going on. They've got players watching where the occasion is going to be there to deal with it. It's on to that goal. Oh. This is going to get messy really fast. TSM just putting. The foot to the throat of Na'Vi. The last player is seized. The Vice seems to have uh, a general idea that maybe he's coming around from T-Spawn. That would be the correct decision. And Seized cannot get anything from that. So TSM, they've, they've weathered the initial storm. But here comes the buy from Na'Vi now. Yep, yep. Now it's the real test comes into play. Yeah, like I said, Guardian can get that glass cannon. This has been coined. It's when you have one AWP, no armor. And just one flashbang to defend himself as well. So... Let's see how he approaches this one. Will he be going for that aggressive pick? Will they actually be boosting him up? Actually, he's going to be going towards long straight away. So, looking out for that long take. There's only be one player towards it, though. But it seems like TSM is showing a little bit of early aggression towards B. Three players in the tunnels now. Dupree actually going to be walking through that smoke. Besides, better of it. Falls back there. And now, the round is open. No one really gaining any control early on. It's like they're tugging at the uh, the map strings here, though. Trying to force a player to come in long. So, didn't quite catch who it was, but throwing a, a flash and then preemptively firing through the double doors and then you got also the initial aggression through onto B tunnels and for a couple of moments mid was completely barren for Na'Vi but TSM didn't push in that. 
Of course, hindsight all 2020 from a casting viewpoint, but here comes the push. Dupree is looking for that entry, has finally got it onto Edward, and Navi have been caught napping. And this should be easy. The bomb has gone towards the B side. It will be yep. planted on right now. And honestly, Navi, after just buying up with this, they have to save. There's no point going in for that, this retake. That, that was weird to me that Edward just spammed his clip to that smoke and safety spawn as well. Um, it so happened TSM obviously had three players really close, so they could hear him spam that clip to its emptiness. And then, well, TSM got that pick towards B window, I believe it was. And then yep. Edward going down as well. And that was done deal. The good thing about that tactic as well, pretty of a dream round for TSM there. They yeah. get the picks in middle, they isolate the B-bombs, and Carrigan's on short as well, watching for any rotation. He's able to give so much info for his teammates. He can actually call over the save is coming in. Although he even died, he can actually get his death cam last long enough to say, okay, they're going for the save now. You guys can push out from the bomb site, start hunting those kills, and we'll see if that comes to fruition at all. You can see the CTs cowering in the corner there along. They do save the AWP there. When you've got that in the hands of Guardian, that can be very important indeed. So, obviously... We go into a big round here, and uh, Navi will be forced buying into this. They save the AWP and an M4A4, so going to try and do what they can. Two kits, and a little bit of uh, equipment to play with, two smoke grenades and incendiary. But Guardian once again going towards our long area. A very passive round for TSM. They're not going to commit too much to this too early on. They just want to work out what's going on here. They know some guns were saved. Hoping for a couple of early picks here at Navi if they want to stay in this map and again we said how close it was and suddenly again just a massive gap opens up and TSM in the driver's seat smokes and flashes grenades all through mid so far here is Flamey he's in pit very nearly gets himself a second frag but instead it's the guardian that's there to lock down long he does have multiple assailants though from his left and his right he's caught in two mines he doesn't know which one to focus he ends up getting dropped and in doing so the A site is ripe for the taking and now Navi are going to have to retake with a FAMAS and a scout and it's not looking too good for them. They have traded out the scout for an M4. Yeah, it's going to be a hard one here, but they're probably going to go for it. It's controlling the situation right now. Oh Device man. getting Zeus as well. It's becoming impossible to see here. All he can really hope for is some exit kills. But TSM, what a great round to just walk out along. And there you see the force of when you're playing that together. You get that trade kill, making sure that Flaming was only able to get one. That's it. And then the sandwich effect to Guardian. Guardian. Have him pressured from both sides at the same time. You're going to disable his effectiveness to the most that you can. There we go. TSM picking up the 14th round. He definitely was stuck between a rock and a hard place there. Didn't yep. really know what he could do. Flamey, like you said, getting one frag. Did do decent damage on the occasion, but unable to secure that round of that big kill there. So now TSM. Almost a match point, definitely touching distance here. And uh, Navi, after losing so many in a row, a maximum loss bonus, $3,500 coming their way. But you can see the buy isn't the best. They have got rifles and uh, a few grenades to play with as well, but not enough really to hold off these T-pushes. Device is trying to gain any info he can. He will actually see the CT go into low beer there as well. That's a big play from the CT. A ballsy player, I have to say, going through that, but gets away with it somehow. And now you can see that they're actually trying to gain up a BC's had to make a play here. They know they need a kill. They haven't got enough to play with to retake a bombsite properly. So getting in the control of those B-towners could be huge. But look at the T's. They're just outside as well. Will C's be ready for this? It's like that old saying, the best form of uh, defense is a strong offense. And here we go. It's just Na'Vi with three quick fire frags. Very nicely done. All on long, I believe that was as well. So yep. lambs to the slaughter. And the bomb's been dropped there as well. And just in the blink of an eye, really, this round quickly goes the way of Na'Vi, or at least you'd assume so. You'd hope so. Whether you've got the bomb down along and three players holding it like a fortress, if TSM find a way back into this round, you've got to ask some questions. So a lot of things have to go wrong for Na'Vi yeah. if that happens. Yeah. This I feel like this is more Na'Vi's round to lose than it is TSM's to win. I'm not sure, sure. It's not happening, is it? Cajun B has been a man on fire though today, inspired to get tanked that does pick up the first frag looking for the second i think he switched to uh i'm not quite sure did he switch weapon or something I think like? a so what happened yeah. there actually navi retook long uh sort of because uh tsm was out there already and then navi went and took a fight there beat every one of them without losing a single man with that pop flash and there we went the bomb was dropped down on long the last two really had nothing going for them unless just try and get those picks but eventually kgb falling short in 104. there we go We'll see another huge round coming into play here. T's not committing to too much yet. TSM just keeping him modest right now. And you actually see 
CT is pushing into, watching down to Lower B. Guardian opens up the frag into Dubri. Not even boosted there. Actually, he's going for the straight up pick to Lower. That's a very valuable pick. It slows the T's right down. Can't approach the round the way they actually planned to there. So now trying to get some control of short. Yep, that's a great job from Navi, keeping the diversity alive. Picking from middle and catwalk and all across the map is going to keep TSM guessing regarding this playing. Should we discuss this before going in? So a lot of these games, keeping that orb dynamic and making sure you move them around, surprising the T's, it's all part of the mind games here. And uh, having someone like Guardian roaming the map is a very scary prospect indeed. Now Device making his way up short. Smoke goes down, takes away some of the vision. Guardian has to step up once again. There's more terrorists coming up that area. Flashes, more smokes are landing. I believe a player just dropped as well from the terrorists. It was Carrigan. And use a bit too slow on his trigger there. He could have probably saved Guardian's life, but the smoke was enough to choke on. And now Flamey is going to chime in with a frag as well. The bomb has been planted from TSM. This is a must-win round from Na'Vi, and they're going to bag it as well. They may be a bit disappointed they allowed that bomb to go down in the first place, but still, eight rounds on the board. Yeah, only thing I found where there was why TSM was contesting long anymore. Anyway, like, you know there's probably going to be one in there. Flame is still alive. You get the bomb down, you try to take that catwalk to control, and they just play it from there. But obviously, TSM really had nothing going on for them anymore. At that point, two on four situation, you're on a bomb side, you're done for. Navi picking up that eight round. I can see a pause coming in now. I assume this is a technical pause more than anything, seeing as it is. Navi are on a little, little bit of a hot streak right now. Two rounds in a row for them. Yeah, it's going to be a team speak problem, and it will be rectified pretty much straight away. So don't worry, the action will continue here. Just having a look at TSM's buy as well. Four rifles for them, no AWPs this time. So Zipex just considering how he's going to approach this round. Potentially Tech 9, full utility, or could grab a Galil and be very hard done by it. And there it is, yeah. One smoke for him. And then see if it's TSM find an entry into this round. So far, Guardian definitely dominating the early round picks. Yeah, it certainly has. He started to wake up as well. He was eerily quiet for a lot of the uh, earlier rounds for Na'Vi. And we've already spoke at length about how much of a, a linchpin he is for the Na'Vi performance. That being said, Edward's been chugging along as well with some frags seized. One of our players to watch is, uh, I feel, coming second best against Cajun B so far in that standing. But that being said, TSM are going to oh. start to push on through. And Guardian, after we just picked them up, misses that first shot, does connect the second one. Flamey is there to watch his Orpers back. And that is just a huge frag because it allows Guardian to now peek back up again. Up onto the catwalk. This is going to be so difficult for TSM to get. They're going to have to get raw frags, raw entries right here, right now. And it's not going to happen. Device, the last man remaining. He has been pretty solid today, though. But 5v1, no one even low. Nah, it's not going to happen. Yep, I think it's going to be really hard for TSM to pick up these rounds if they keep doing it this way. Only giving pressure from short. I think that's going to be Guardian's playground if that happens. Mm -hmm. What TSM actually has is a very effective A split, and they're really good at it. The timings they do with that makes it super hard for the rotation player, which obviously is Guardian here. So he's the one that is going to be opping towards between sight and long. Um, the TSM does make it really hard for that offer, so that's I think that's something that TSM should probably try and throw at them. It's taken three rounds, but finally the economy has been broken for TSM after winning the first five. And now Guardian changing his position once again, pushing for those mid doors, trying to get some early intel. Doesn't need to be too cavalier here, just needs to hold back. Should be aware of the eco's coming into play. P250's across the board, no needs as well to speak of. So as long as the CTs just hold nice and passive here. They are. Guardian picks up the first frag on the Carrigan, and they should close the round out here. Yeah, similar tactic again, although you can understand it when it is effectively just P250s. Okay. And TSM somehow do breach mid, get up the side, get a couple cheeky frags, and make this interesting once more. With Guardian being at 9 HP, I was about to say this is doable, but then Zeus just holds down the trigger and picks up three kills on the B side. And now Na'Vi have breached the double digits. I truly think that the... the problem for TSM or actually the way to beat Navi's defense is to make Guardian as un uncomfortable as possible and I think the best way of doing that is probably do that A split. Well, they have to come up with some sort of idea to take him down. Guardian nading himself and Spawner. Interesting <laughs> approach. Not really too much damage. <laughs> because level. why not, I guess. Next yeah. level tactics, boys. And the uh, new meta. Here we go. A much slower approach from TSM once again. They have been favoring that short area. You can see maybe going for a long retake here. There is going to be a terrorist, sorry, a CT in the form of Flamey waiting. Very close ranger. That's, that's 
to be into round number 25. Obviously, one tier 7 to pick up has been in a row now for Navi. They definitely have bounced back and released, giving themselves a chance of getting back into the series. They yeah, certainly have given themselves a, a couple more lifelines here. I'm curious to see if TSM are going to start to rock the boat a tiny bit and not just continue to plow on through short and catwalk. And I believe that's what we're about to see here. You can see the pretty solid positions from the CT set up. The first player has gone down in pit though, but here comes Flamey. The first frag goes his way. The second one doesn't, however, and now TSM <coughs> will make the most of that weakness and just force onto the A side and again season Edward in just a, a nightmare position. That's the A split. <laughs> yeah, I mean, coming. you know, <laughs> this guy knows. I, yeah, I've yeah, I've been around. I've I've seen a couple of things, and exactly it worked exactly <laughs> like I hoped for. But a lot of credit to Subnix actually getting that first burst into the face of a CT in the pit, pit long pit, really made it that much harder for uh, Navi to do much. But yeah. That base split really did doing wonders. Yeah, it was great. You can see how it really did pull apart the CTs. It takes away a lot of attention from both areas. It separates the CTs. It makes it very difficult to hold that A-bomb site. Almost flawless round there. Only Carrigan going down. That was a hand of Flamey as well. Playing in the blue crate there down along. So they, make, they bring it now to match point. Obviously, CT's winning quite a lot of rounds in a row. The money won't be too affected here. Flamey. Still considering his buy. Obviously, I think he should get the M4. We haven't seen too much of a double up setup from Navi as of yet. But round number 26 now. TSM probably wanting to end this one nice and quickly. They want to break their own economy by taking this one and giving Navi a second bite of the cherry to get back into this. But let's see where this one goes down. Pushing through, gets the opening pick onto the site. Two quick kills to TSM, and that could be this map just edging away from Navi. Seize did get a frag. Here's Guardian as well with the orb, but there's the Vice's tech line just ripping through him. And it's all on Flamey. 1v2 situation. And he's been picked off with ease from Device. And TSM are going to pick it up 16-10. Although at some points in that game, it looked like it may finish a lot closer. So TSM.